Recently, one of the lightest and most economical internal combustion engines featuring an innovative design was patented. It has a single cylinder with a piston that moves on two connecting rods. These rods are attached to two gears that are perpendicular to a fixed ring gear. All components, including the piston, rotate in the setup. This fundamentally new design without a traditional crankshaft has significantly reduced its size. The use of gears has also minimized the piston's movement amplitude, thereby increasing torque. On the reverse side of the ring gear, developers installed a fan that cools the engine and stabilizes it against vibrations. At this stage of the project, the single cylinder generates 16 horsepower with a torque of 22 newton meters, which is impressive given its modest dimensions. Processing sugar beet from weeds by manual weeding requires significant labor. Spring fields with chemicals accelerates the process, but agricultural plants also absorb toxins. Moving away from manual weeding and spraying is now possible with the deep field weeding robot. This four-wheeled machine autonomously navigates between rows. It is AI-controlled and uses cameras for orientation. The robot can distinguish between crop, plants, and weeds in real time. To remove weeds and loosen the soil, it uses two electric-driven rotary hoes. These quickly cut grass and carefully navigate around sugar beet plants. The robot can work alone or in groups, dividing rows of sugar beet between both hoes. Its own camera lighting allows it to weed fields even at night. The machine has been tested across all stages of sugar beet growth. The next invention solves the problem of training drivers for the Leopard 2A4 tank. The new simulator creates a highly realistic environment for training and gaining practical driving skills, all within a box without burning diesel fuel. A special cabin inside is equipped identically to a real tank. The platform is mounted on six hydraulic cylinders that can tilt it according to what's happening on the screen, simulating climbs, slopes, ditches, off-road driving, accelerations, and braking. All of this is accompanied by realistic sound effects. Thanks to the simulator, soldiers can learn to operate the tank effectively, avoid overturning, practice formation, and regrouping maneuvers. Instructors monitor training using their own monitors that duplicate information from the cabin and through surveillance cameras. Here's a compact 3D printer with its own software that you can carry about and print small figures with. Three developers on Kickstarter introduced a new device measuring 3.9 by 4.5 by 6.1 inches and weighing just 1.3 pounds. It only needs 5 volt 2 amp power, making it possible to even run off a power bank. Data is loaded onto a micro SD card. The device can print parts with a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. Here's how it works. Liquid polymer is poured into a tray. The printer reads the figure's parameters from the card, creates the shape, lifts the top bracket, and retrieves the finished product. The printer has open source code allowing anyone to experiment with the software. The kit includes the 3D printer itself and post-processing modules, all for $99. You can also order a convenient carrying bag as an extra. Contrary to appearances, this printer is not the smallest in the world. This invention, with a similar working principle as present-day printers, is smaller than a match. Specifically, it's 0.7 by 1.2 by 1.6 inches and weighs just 0.03 pounds. The device is made from a combination of wood, plastic, and metal. It has a mini tray for pouring polymer. There's a built-in motor for moving the work plate and an LED for material fixation. However, its tiny size didn't allow fitting the software inside, so it's controlled via a micro USB cable from a computer. Of course, you shouldn't expect high precision from such a tiny device as seen from the robot it printed. Also, it can only be used paired with a PC. Still, for now, it holds the title of the smallest 3D printer model available. With the revolutionary invention, Expandable Touchdown, you can set up an exhibition center, bar, cafe, office, mini hotel, or home virtually anywhere. The platform is towed by a regular truck, after which it can stand on its own legs. A unique wheel rearrangement system allows the wheels to extend out from the end of the van. 
This lets the legs with hydraulic cylinders lower as close to the ground as possible, making it easier for people to enter without needing high steps. The module expands in width, providing a 200 square foot area. The panoramic windows are certified for use on vehicles and won't get damaged from these movements. Sliding windows allow for a wide entrance and a through passage. There are configurations with a spiral staircase to access the roof where an open relaxation area can be set up with railings. Setting up on site takes 15 minutes and can be done by one person using a touchscreen panel with clear navigation. An acoustic system designed as a picture frame is now available for sale. It has a slim profile so it looks like a regular picture from the outside. It can hang on the wall or stand on a window sill or table. Inside are multiple speakers that provide stereo sound. The frame connects to a smartphone via Bluetooth 5.0. You can simultaneously connect two frames for even richer sound. The picture inside the frame can be changed according to your preference. This allows you to both diversify your interior decor and enjoy pleasant music without a visible sound source. If you want to control the sound of all possible devices in your home or even do more, consider this new remote. It connects to your computer, audio system, lighting, and other devices in the house. The remote consists of modular units that connect together using magnets. You can arrange them in any order that suits your convenience. The modules include sliders, mechanical buttons, rotary knobs, and touch displays for showing information. With this remote, you can adjust volumes and sound effects in computer apps and games, turn lights on and off in the house, lower blinds and manage Zoom, browsers, documents, and more. It works seamlessly with devices on Windows and Mac OS platforms. Now, let's talk about 3D printing again, but this time on a massive scale. In the Swiss Alps, a white tower is being built, the tallest in the world constructed using this technology. This landmark is being erected for Fundazion origin and stands 100 feet tall. It consists of modules or columns that sequentially form four floors on a rectangular base. Robots pour each column using quick-setting soft concrete. The tower itself resembles a gazebo with a central spiral staircase. This production is fast-paced and minimizes carbon emissions. It's intended for concerts, theatrical performances, and art installations. Its modular design and removable screws will allow dismantling and relocation to another location in the future. At the Land Forces Conference in Australia, the Israeli company Smart Shooter unveiled the Smash 3000 rifle, featuring an automatic targeting and target acquisition system. This weapon includes software with artificial intelligence and computer vision for autonomous target detection and aiming. It's housed in a sturdy body designed to withstand harsh conditions. The innovation significantly enhances shooting accuracy, allowing precise calculation of each bullet's impact. Tests on the range demonstrate an 80% hit accuracy when firing standing from a distance of 650 feet, which is particularly challenging due to the lack of hand support. Additionally, the rifle is adapted for combat against small drones, enabling soldiers to accurately target and neutralize compact airborne targets well before they approach. The targeting system operates effectively during the day and at night. An invention like the FATS 100mm contributes to enhancing combat effectiveness. It's a state-of-the-art weapons handling simulator equipped with an advanced engine and collective training capabilities. The simulator features a large screen that mimics real-world terrain. Lighting and scenarios can be adjusted from urban settings to desert landscapes. The training environment includes factors like wind direction and speed, temperature, and the movement of grass and trees all set by the instructor. This setup allows soldiers to hone their skills under realistic conditions, understanding the factors influencing ballistics. The screen reacts to shots from wireless training weapons such as pistols, rifles, grenade launchers, machine guns, and mortars. It instantly displays accuracy, allowing adjustments to aiming systems. The weapons themselves are equipped with sensors that detect buttstock pressure, trigger pull force, and weapon positioning. This capability helps identify fundamental soldier errors immediately and correct their actions on the spot. 
From military missions on land, we now move to tactical operations on water. Small unmanned boats have been around for a while, but Austal USA, commissioned by the Navy, has taken on the task of creating a fully autonomous military vessel. They've developed a large autonomous ship guided by radars, lidars, and optical cameras. This allows it to autonomously navigate obstacles while following a predetermined route, a capability proven during testing. The ship space allows for transporting and launching 36-foot rigid-hulled inflatable boats and accommodating the landing of a V-22 Osprey tilt-rotor aircraft. Its shallow draft enables maneuvering in shallow waters and close approach to the shore, simplifying troop landings or evacuations and reducing the time it takes to transport people between shore and ship. With automated servicing and self-diagnosis, the vessel can operate autonomously for up to 30 days. Japanese scientists have unveiled a compact three-wheeled electric motorcycle with a unique shape and unusual abilities. The frame features a Z-shaped design with a single handlebar and seat line. Two front wheels have a tilting function that allows them to lean sideways from a perpendicular position. This improves maneuverability and reduces the turning radius, which is advantageous in limited spaces. To activate the mechanism, you simply need to lean the body in the desired direction and the entire structure shifts accordingly. Another unique feature of the motorcycle is the detachability of the upper steering part and seat from the chassis. This allows easy integration of a robot on top, creating an autonomous delivery vehicle, or adapting the platform for other social needs. The motorcycle has a range of up to 25 miles on a single charge and travels at speeds up to 18 miles per hour. Connecting plastic pipes without a welding machine or soldering iron is difficult, especially when they are of different diameters. But everything changes with the AwaConnect Flex Plus assembly tool. At its core are metal strips with a frame made from sheet metal. They are tightened with screw clamps using a screwdriver. Inside, a solid rubber gasket ensures tightness. To reinforce it at the junction of two pipes, a plastic mesh reinforcement is used. Two independent strips allow you to crimp different pipe diameters, connecting them together. Before starting work, simply apply sealant to the pipe ends. Reinforced concrete is widely used in construction. However, its production releases a large amount of carbon. Additionally, concrete is heavy and the reinforcement inside can oxidize and rust. CPC panels completely replace heavy concrete slabs without compromising strength or harming the environment. The panels use concrete as their base, but with composite carbon fibers as the framework. This significantly reduces the panel's weight and allows for a thinner profile without sacrificing strength or environmental impact. Now, since the framework consists of many thin fibers rather than several reinforcement bars, the panels can be cut as needed, creating slots or openings anywhere. These concrete panels remain flexible, capable of withstanding vibration and seismic loads, greatly expanding their applications in construction, including solid bridges and floors. Zoom Shoes Project aims to minimize carbon emissions into the environment. These are electric roller skates. Each skate is a flat platform for placing your feet. There are no straps allowing you to step on and off freely. The platform is based on a single wide roller and the skates operate like a hoverboard, balancing and responding to the user's center of gravity shift. They are highly maneuverable, capable of reaching speeds up to 8 miles per hour with instant stops for safety. After a full charge, which takes 2 hours, you're guaranteed 1.5 hours of riding time. Navis has announced the release of the third generation wearable mobile mapping system VLX3. It features improved ergonomics for increased indoor usability and more precise real-time data display. The third generation introduces two brand new 32-layer LiDARs designed for distance measurement with minimal error and high detail. The system also includes four cameras, each 20 megapixels with 360-degree coverage. The mapping system is worn by the operator like a backpack weighing only 19 pounds. It can be folded compactly for transportation in a hard case suitable for air travel. This innovation enables the creation of accurate 3D maps both indoors and outdoors. 
The world of technology has introduced another innovation, a huge 27-inch smart screen housed in a slim case. The monitor runs on the Android OS like a large tablet. It includes internet access, games, and a browser. You can use it as a TV for watching movies, a media player, a digital photo frame, and more. The smart screen mounts on a swivel brackets, allowing convenient adjustment for the optimal angle and orientation depending on the task at hand. A soft cushion protects the monitor from impacts, while a sturdy case facilitates easy transportation. The screen has its own battery and can also serve as a power bank for other gadgets. USB, HDMI, and USB Type-C ports enable connectivity with other devices for communication. Finally, news from the past about an invention. The Lane Motor Museum has taken on the restoration of the world's only Gyro X car, whose 1967 model had just two wheels and balanced itself using a gyroscope. It had two seats arranged, one behind the other. The narrow design was intended to improve road capacity, but the car never gained widespread popularity as the manufacturing company closed down. The restoration is planned for the museum's 100th anniversary. Originally, the Gyro X could reach speeds of up to 125 miles per hour and could corner at a tilt of 40 degrees. Its narrow design and lightweight allowed it to achieve these speeds with just an 80 horsepower engine. Since it took about three minutes to spin up the gyroscope, the car had auxiliary side wheels for the start. Once balanced, the car could maintain stability on its own and retract the wheels. Now, it will require the construction of a new gyroscope. After restoration, the car will be showcased at various auctions. Hey folks, which invention did you like the most? Let's discuss it in the comments. Subscribe to ensure you don't miss videos about amazing inventions.